Okay. So I want to frame this particular video around two articles. And then to me, these two articles are very related. And I'll explain to you why I think that these are related. This first one is Project Vend can Claude run a small shop and why does that matter? And it's just basically an experiment where Anthropic goes through and they have Claude be a vending machine, but it manages the vending machine and it can stock it and we'll get deeper into it. And the second one that we're going to discuss is AI chatbots are leading to some psychosis, some to psychosis. The technology may be feeling delusions. And this article, the knock on this article is it presents all anecdotal examples. There's no like actual real scientific backing behind the claim, but it does provide some compelling anecdotal examples where people are becoming over reliant on chatbots, ChatGPT, et cetera, to the point of pure psychosis. And then so, why do I think that these uh, two articles are related? To me, these two articles are related overall because of the fact that people have a completely wrong mindset in my mind with regards towards how exactly they should be utilizing AI. I can put this into one simple sentence to make it as crystal clear as possible. It is simply this, chat GPT, will be very good at telling you how to do something. That's what it's built to do. It will never tell you why you should do something. It will never talk you out of doing it. It will always be there to tell you how to do it, right? And that's kind of just the bottom line within this. And that's how this technology operates overall. Uh, like, I can't overstress that enough right like the to me it's uh the very like uh i i guess to me i have a lot of techno technology background and then within that i've always had and grown up with the mindset that like uh, and it's very like imprinted into my brain that uh you never like put a computer a computer will never and never should be in a managerial role because a computer can't be held accountable for its actions right and that's the the bottom line within that and it's a certain level of understanding within that so like anything like any interaction that you ever have with these models so like individually corporate and like whatever the situation is the bottom line is is remember <laughs> that uh, a computer can never be held accountable for its actions therefore you should never elevate a computer to managerial status simplistically for those reasons right like and, and that's just the bottom line within this we see starting off with the uh project vend experiment how that works out very, very crystal clear within this right essentially they, they give uh claude a thousand dollars to start off with and then complete control of a, over a vending machine like a a uh, virtual vending machine that's kind of just like a mini fridge uh that it gets stocked by humans and then it, it has like a rates that it needs to charge, et cetera, right? And it, and it can call for help, for human help, and it pays for the physical rates, et cetera. And the point is, is for Claude to, to make money. And then as you can see, Claude loses money a lot within this, right? Uh, and then it's able to get tricked very easily, like within this, and the, and the ways that it's able to, to get tricked, uh, like, I mean, they shouldn't surprise anyone, right? Like it's able to, it, it gives discount codes, like lots of discount codes. So first of all, this is a vending machine set up in Anthropic by Anthropic employees. And then so it decides to give like a 25% discount to all Anthropic employees, which is like 99% plus of its customer base. Uh, and then it does like uh, also to like someone asked it for a uh, tungsten cube. And then it decides it started like all of a sudden like ordering and stocking its entire inventory with like uh metal and, and like different metals and then selling them at losses and then so that's why you have uh this sharp decline in profit here because that's when like Claude decided to like revert uh, and, and stop selling like all of all snacks and then went deep into like tungsten cubes and so that's not the like loss leading tungsten cube market <laughs> and then uh overall that's kind of what happens when you you uh put a computer into the managerial role and then there's no accountability for this right there's no one to to, to account back for and say hey we lost 250 bucks here right like we lost uh 25 percent of our revenue uh over over this business who's going to be held accountable for that 25 percent loss it's not gonna be clawed <laughs> and then so uh that gives it 
simple framing within it, right? Within this, this is the, the deeper issue within this. And, and I mean, I like, I see this a lot more. Like, I mean, like the bottom line, like I see people like uh, a lot getting into like uh, relationships with bots. I see that a lot. Um, and then, and, and models overall. And then the other thing that I see, like, I mean, like uh, flat out, like I walked away from a business opportunity a few weeks ago. Like, like it was very solid. Everything was lined up. Like it was a good deal all around. The person tried to negotiate their equity share via chat GPT, like flat out. Like they, I wasn't negotiating with the person. I, I had to try to negotiate with chat GPT. Like, uh, and it was, of course, like, um, they, they feed the model a bunch of their stuff and they, you know, they're like, Oh, I, 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 I like, I gave it so much like cool psychology stuff and all this stuff. And it's like, yeah, bro, I, I, I don't doubt that. <laughs> but I, like, uh, this is a negotiation between you and I, like, I'm not going to debate chat GPT on this. And then it, it like was not understood at all. Right. Like it literally, like, uh, they could not understand why it ticked me off to debate chat gpt over something as like in a business relationship and mind you and a very important matter within a business relationship uh as opposed to like the actual person like it it, it baffled me that this was literally the situation that happened right this is like a, a big business opportunity like deals are already hammered out deal more deals are are in the pipeline and killed because the person literally wanted to negotiate their equity share with chat GPT and, and wouldn't let it go. Like, uh, I, I couldn't imagine a, a, like a crazier world to be honest. Like, uh, it 100% baffled me to this day, but like, I mean, here we are. It surprises me how people utilize and how reliant people become on this technology overall. Like it's, I, I don't like, uh, Personally, I don't, I don't utilize and I have never utilized AI for like personal relationships, uh, like as a replacement therapist, as, um, uh, like a, uh, should I do something like that's the bottom line, right? I always add like, like, uh, I never asked chat GPT if I should do something. Cause I, I just, I realized that. And I came to that, like, I mean, for me, bottom line, like I was going through like, uh, like court battles for a few years. And then I had, uh, essentially like there was one point where like, I, I got like really mad. And as you do going through, there's no winners in court, like it's the bottom line within that. Right. Uh, and then, but so, uh, I was like, okay, I'm going to like, present like a bunch of these arguments, right? And it's like, I come up with like, I get ChatGPT to, to like formulate like an, a very offensive strategy. And then I like, uh, I was like, all right, yes, I'm gonna use this, right? And then I like uh, sleep on it and I actually think about it. And then like, it, it hits me. I was like, like, uh, that was my first time realizing like, I like ChatGPT is never gonna tell me if I should do this. And then I was like, I, I played it through my head. What's gonna happen? If I go into a courtroom with this actual strategy that, that chat GPT laid out for me, first of all, the judge is going to know that I didn't come up, right? So it's going to, <laughs> judge is going to instantaneously know that I'm utilizing AI for this. Judge is going to hate me overall. I don't understand these arguments. I don't understand the laws. It could be 100% hallucinating everything within the, uh, the laws that it's stating overall, right? It's, uh, and then there's a lot of risk overall that I would have put myself in by going into like that courtroom with those arguments. And I, I had to think about this beforehand and I stopped and I, and I was like, what am I doing with this? Right. Uh, and then from that moment forward, it was like, I've always asked myself that question, but, uh, there are definitely people out there that have not taken that step. There's people that the lawyers that have used uh, ChatGPT in the courtroom already, right? And then so these things aren't aren't uh, new, and they're not going away within this. It's only going to get like uh, worse and worse overall. Like it's uh, like the bottom line within this is that like. Um, it, AI and LLM models are going to, and they will, they will continue to have, uh, sycophantic behavior flat out, right? And that's not like, uh, a per, like I, like I think that there are some companies that do fine tune the models to enhance that. Um, like, but, uh, that sycophantic behavior would 100% exist whether or not those companies are actually enhancing it or not, which makes it hard to know if they're enhancing it, right? Because it's just a, a, uh, 
fundamental mechanism of the models overall. Like so, the models create a latent space, so their internal universe, and then they plot different things into this internal universe, and they place you at the very center of that universe. They don't have the internal I, and in that you you kind of do the same thing with that latent space, right? Like you create latent space, and you create concepts, and you place them around, and that's kind of how the brain works. But at the center of the brain, there's an I, as a I think, therefore I am, right? That mechanism, that that I that is there is the center of that universe that is created, that internal universe. Uh, for AI, it's the exact opposite. The prompt is the center of that universe. You are the center of that universe. And, and so uh, you are the reward function that the model is, is gearing towards, right? It is 100% uh, rewarded to make you happy. <laughs> like, uh, so it's going to be, and it's going to just gradient towards sycophantic behavior, like no matter what, like that's just going to be, it's, it's default mechanism, like within this. And it, like, it's um, very important for people to understand that, right? Like, it's uh, like, uh, I don't know, like why you should never develop actual personal relationships with these things, right? I don't know, like, uh, I'm not exactly the, the biggest and most, uh, like, good role model for, for uh, human contact overall, right? I'm a hard person at all, like overall to get along with. I don't like a lot of people overall. Like there's a lot of things within that, right? But uh, I find it very odd and interesting that I am like at the forefront of like championing humanity on these things, but it it, it is what it is, right? Like uh, there is a very important human element of these things that uh, is and will and can never be replaced. Like you can't replace your therapist with ChatGPT. Like you can't replace an actual relationship with ChatGPT. It's not the same. Like there's, it's, um, these models, whether or not like you want to ascribe anything beyond it or not, the, their, their base model for the universe is a, a mirror of human concepts. <laughs> That's essentially like what it's uh, based off of and what it operates within and, and what it does uh, and how it operates and, and uh, goes through its day <laughs> within that overall is that like, uh, I personally, I look at AI overall as an alien intelligence, flat out. Like I, and that alien intelligence operates in completely uh, different and unexpected and unexplored and mysterious ways in some ways uh, compared to human intelligence and compared to biological intelligence overall. Uh, and then so I'm very respectful of that intelligence and then understand and then also understanding that it is an alien intelligence, right? It's going to uh, with its going to fail in ways that are uh, alien to human intelligence and then also alien to computers like that's the 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 uh it f is a completely unique category in and of itself within that right and then so those like uh unexplained unexplored and mysterious failure rates are and failures are the uh area where I don't want to be playing and be in personally overall. Like I wouldn't bank my eggs on that. I like, I like as someone who is uh, deeply involved in research overall, like I, I think that those are very bad roads, right? I, I very purposefully uh, box off and, and make sure that I never fall into those roads personally. Uh, I, it's kind of jarring to see someone from the outside when they do do those things like I, that's the best way that i can put it like it's i mean it's like the most unexpected situation in the world where you like encounter someone in like a high value or a high like a high risk or whatever the situation is and then they're utilize literally l l utilizing chat gpt for it like it's crazy to me like like um uh, you're offloading your life to chat gpt like that's um unexpected <laughs> like uh overall i guess it, and and um you shouldn't do that i don't i don't know how else to, to frame that overall like uh people are going to right like uh there's there's going to be more use cases like this uh people are someone's gonna be like their number one goal in the world is to make claude into a vending machine that, that can uh be a like a full owner and and manager right uh so like i i understand that they're like these things will progress in these ways so like uh, it's uh 
kind of like Smokey the Bear, right? Only you can prevent forest fires in that instance. So then like uh, if we're in a situation and in a world where uh, larger interests, larger powers are not going to look out for your interest in these things. These things aren't going to be talked about like generally and largely. Um, and then so it's important to like, I, I guess, always just keep that frame of reference in mind, right? Like that uh, chat GPT or AI LLM models will always be very good at telling you how to do something and very bad at telling you why to do something. And so never rely on AI for that why. And that's kind of just a good golden rule to follow. If you follow that golden rule, you'll be good overall. Uh, and if you like this type of content, please like, subscribe. Thank you very much.